two new additions to the Black Series collection. One came in this brown nice box and the other one came in this padded envelope. So we're going to open these next on the action figure cave and see what the condition of these figures are because one of them is going to be an opener and one of them is going to be something that we keep closed. Howdy everyone, it's Michael here from the Action Figure Cave and the weekend is almost here and here in the cave we got two new additions to our Black Series collection. The first thing we're going to take a look at is this box here from Entamer Earth. Uh, this is the carbonized Stormtrooper. I put this on pre-order I think a few months ago uh, with the carbonized Boba Fett and this got charged and sent to me. I was actually forgot all about it believe it or not so we're gonna take a look at this and take it out of the box and take the figure out as well this package here I am a little worried about so this is the Amazon exclusive bounty hunter set the 40th anniversary bounty hunter set so it's the Zuckerson full loom two pack um, why am I worried about it this I don't plan on opening um, this was gonna be a set where I would keep the figures closed and you know hopefully display them in its packaging but this came in this kind of a bubble wrap or a bubble envelope so I am a little bit scared so I'm going to open this one first so let's get the box out here okay so got some nice packaging some bubble wrap some more nice packaging and wow this is pretty cool so here is the carbonized stormtrooper so very shiny box kind of looks like a, a mirror pretty cool but um, yeah the box is cool this looks like everything's in great condition it doesn't really matter I'm gonna open this guy so take a look at this figure up and close but here's the box and it's the same box as the stormtrooper regular stormtrooper but obviously it has the the silver on that box so definitely pretty cool here's the back of it all right so before we open this up um actually you know what let's let's take a look at this out of the box first and then we get to the amazon in a little bit Okay, so here is the carbonized stormtrooper out of the box. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not a huge fan of these carbonized figures. Uh, we own the Mando one and we never opened him. And then we have a jet trooper or a, I think it's actually a sift trooper, it's in that red box. And we never opened that one as well. But this is the first one that we opened. And um, I do really like this one though. I, I think I'm a sucker for silver. Definitely love the color silver, and I like it on this Stormtrooper, so definitely a big fan of this one. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to 
go into the articulation and everything because it's, it's the same figure as the the 40th anniversary Stormtrooper and the box version of the Stormtrooper that we got a few years ago. So everything's the same, just updated paint apps. And I really do like the paint apps on this figure. I really like the way the silver and the black looks. So definitely happy I opened this figure. I think it's gonna look really cool in our display. So definitely, definitely thumbs up on this figure. Okay, so next is gonna be what everyone's waiting for is the opening of that bounty hunter set and seeing if our figures came smashed. So hold on, don't go anywhere. It's coming next. Okay, so now it's time to open the bounty hunter setup. And if you follow this channel, you know how much I love my coffee, but I needed a couple shots of tequila before I opened up this thing, because like I said, I do not want to open the packaging on this. I um, want to keep these figures closed. I already have the Bounty Hunters open in the original release and they're happily displayed there. This is for a closed set, but looking at the packaging, it doesn't look doesn't look like this box is gonna come out too good. So let's cross our fingers and, and see how it goes. Maybe there's more protection in here. No, just, just the box. And then right now, I can see right now, yikes. Yeesh. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in. Uh, mine doesn't even seem, seem like it was taped. There's tape here, but it looks like it's opened. Anyway, so here's the condition of the box. So you have some smashes here, smashes here. Not great condition wise. It's okay. I'm, I'm still hopeful that the figures, the cards inside are not completely damaged. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here they are. Okay, so oh, they look pretty cool. All right, so I, I don't, well, I, I definitely got lucky here. Um, I don't see any dents on the bubble. The cards seem a little uh, warped, but definitely could be worse. Could be definitely worse. So yeah, you know, this, is, this is pretty cool. I mean, I, I, could, I could live with the condition of these figures. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these closed because you know they're pretty. Um, the box right now, I just, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna display them with this. I'm gonna display them with this. This is still unfortunate, and it's unfortunate that they didn't come in a box and they came in a padded envelope, and that's a, for a whole nother story. But let's take a look at the figures first, close up. Here is, uh, well, Zuckus, but obviously they're doing the same thing what Kenner did back in the early 80s um, with the Kenner Vintage Collection, with the Kenner Vintage figures, you know, calling this figure full loom, and it's really Zuckus, that was a mistake back then, and they kind of doing the same thing. These figures also, this whole set came out in the Vintage Collection back in 2010, I believe. We actually had that set as well. But here's the, uh, the full loom slash Zuckus. This figure has a different paint apps than the original Zuckus that came out a few years ago. Uh, so definitely, you know, it looks really cool in the packaging. I'm gonna keep it there. So let's take a look at Zuckus slash Forloom. So here he is. Again, Zuckus is the name here, but it's really Forloom. So what Hasbro is doing here is trying to get the um, the Kenner look of this figure. Not a huge fan of this one. Definitely like, obviously, the um, newer Forloom better. I really do. Love the paint apps on this figure. It's one of my favorites, actually. But this looks, I know that looks cool, looks great. And I'm, I'm really like relieved that these figures did not come crushed just based off the box. Uh, so these are definitely gonna go into a case and we will get them on the wall somehow. You know, as for the packaging, if these came crushed, I probably would return them because like I said, I, I don't really want these open. I have them right here, but I'm not gonna, gonna return them because I could get um, worse figures than I did. I probably will send an email to Amazon and, and you know, be polite as possible because there's a lot of things going on in the world right now and, and you know, just the mail system is definitely not 
the way it usually is. So, but it, you know, these are an exclusive, so I feel like at least they could have used the box for these figures. And um, I feel bad for other collectors that probably got the same envelope and got their figures crushed. So um, I'm hoping that there's not a lot of people out there. But I will send an email and see what I get with that. But uh, who knows? Never know, right? So anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I just want to say uh, in the next two weeks, we're going to drop a video celebrating the Action Figure Cave being on YouTube for one year. With that video, we will announce a, another contest. We haven't had one uh, in a few months, so we're going to have one then. I'm not really quite sure exactly when the video is going to drop, but look for it in the next two weeks. So just wanted to make sure that you guys, if you're here and you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can get in on that contest and on that giveaway. Again, thank you everyone for watching the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know how you felt about that Carpenter Knight Stormtrooper. I was a little like when I got the charge on my credit card, like, do I really want this? And But I'm happy. I'm happy I got it and it's going to look nice in there. But you know, let us know what you think. And um, for now, everyone have a great weekend and go get yourself some Black Series action figures.